Hi everyone. Today we are going to be looking at the question 2B of the WASC 2010 general mathematics question. It says towns P and Q are X kilometers apart. Two motorists set out at the same time from P to Q at steady speeds of 60 kilometers per hour and 80 kilometers per hour. The faster motorist got to Q 30 minutes earlier than the other. Find the value of X. X is the distance between P and Q. So in that case, I will have something like this. This is point P or town P. This is town Q and they are X kilometers apart. Okay. Now you have two more motorists that set out from P driving down to Q. So I would say first motorist speed because they gave us the speed. First motorist speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Okay. Second motorist speed second motorist speed is what 80 kilometers per hour okay now the faster motorist go to Q 30 minutes earlier than the other we want to find X but we do not know the time right we do not know the time that he traveled so the first thing you want to do is find the time. So and we know first of all that the formula for speed, speed is distance, okay, over time. Okay, if speed is distance over time, I can rewrite this and say speed is S, distance is D, over time you are trying to find time right here i can make time which is t the subject of the formula so what happens is s is x over one t goes up s can come down and cross multiply so that means i will have t equals d over s remember d is distance s is speed okay now, there is something I want us to work out right here now. Okay, if that is the case, first motorist speed, we've been told, is 60 kilometers. So, let us work out the time for first motorists. I will say first motorists. The time is going to be, what is the distance? Remember, both of them are driving from P to Q and the distance is X so that's gonna be X over what is the speed with which he was driving 60 I will put 60 right here and also take note X is in kilometers 60 is in now that's the speed kilometers per hour so that means my time is gonna be hour okay what about the second the second motorist the time is going to be x also why is it x the distance is x because it's also traveling the same distance over what is the speed for the second one right now 80 80 and that's also going to be hour very good very good guys very good now the question goes ahead to say that the faster motorist got to Q, got to Q right here 30 minutes earlier okay now if you take no between the first motorist and second motorist which one do you think is going to get there first 60 kilometers simply means take note of this first before we get the before we answer that question 60 kilometers per hour means 
this first motorist is driving 60 kilometers in one hour it's going to cover 60 kilometers within an hour second motorist speed is 80 kilometers per hour means it's going to cover 80 kilometers that's longer distance within one hour so that tells me that second motorist is moving very fast he's moving faster than first motorist so that means the time with which first motorist is going to move from point p to point q is going to be more than what the second motorist is going to spend from p to q okay so that means for me to interpret this question further i would then say that the time of the first motorist take note the first motor is going to spend a longer time and what is the time x over 60 take note of that x over 60 for now i will i will omit the uh the unit which is hour right now x over 60 minus what is the time for the second motorist x over 80 x over 80 very good remember it's in hour equals to the time lagging in both is 30 minutes because the faster one got to queue 30 minutes earlier than the other 30 minutes so equals to 30 okay but take note you cannot just write 30 right there because this time right here is in hour this is in hour 30 is in minutes how do you convert it to hour you divide by 60 because 30 minutes okay if you convert to hour will be 30 over 60 which is half hour one over two hour okay now let us solve this i can just solve this this way i can um find the lcm straight away it's easier that way we know the lcm of 60 and 80 is 240 okay i can say that uh 60 in 240 is 4 4 times x is 4x okay minus 80 in 240 is 3 3 times x is 3x okay equals to 30 over 60 right here okay now one thing you can also do immediately right here is instead of you carrying 30 over 60 all the way i know that 30 can divide 60 so 30 in 30 is 1 30 in 60 is 2 so i have 4x 4x minus 3x rather so that's going to give us x okay over 240 okay equals to 1 over 2 very good very good equals to 1 over 2 now what can i do here i'm trying to find x right I can cross multiply. I can say 240 go to the other side. In that case, x is going to remain here, right? So I'll have x equals 240 times 1 is 240 divided by 2. So if you do that, x divided by 2 is 120. And if that is 120, remember that x, x is the distance from P to Q, which is in kilometers. Therefore, I can say my x is 120 kilometers. Very good, guys. I would encourage you 
to go over the problem set and the solution very well so that way you can better understand what we have solved right here all right guys if you are new on this channel i will encourage you to subscribe and click on the bell to turn on your notification so you don't miss any of our videos see you in the next class